Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Talk Diesel. Today we're gonna talk about the EGR Venturi pipe for Freightliners and Volvos. In Freightliners for DD13, DD15, and DD16 engine, and for Volvos D13 and D16. So the one you're seeing right now, it's for Freightliner. This is the uh, model has been since I don't, I don't know 2010 by now and in the newest Cascadias the one that comes with DD15 engine with the newest DD15 engine um, there's not that much a difference between this one and those uh, to clean this one all right first of all you have to be sure all inside there is clean let me see if I can show you with the flashlight you can see it right now it's not that bad all right it's not that bad let's check it out the other side this is the inlet side this inlet side and this is the outlet side all right and as you can see this one has two different sizes right this is for the exhaust side and this is for the intake side okay and here on the top we have the uh, EGR Delta pressure sensor for right now that's the responsible to control the turbo and the EGR valve how much it opens how much it close and how much the BGT needs to move all right to clean this one it's really simple you need hot water and something pointing like this this is for like a hunger you know and you just try to clean it like this around all the way around to both sides like this all right make sure it's really nice okay and try to be putting hot water because that's gonna help you a lot after that okay once you're sure everything is unplugged on this side try to use a blower gun so that was gonna help you to this side in here that you can see actually even with my flashlight you, know, you see the hole over there way over there really hard to see it all right that hole those two holes in there needs to be clean there is one hole in this side and there is another one in here you see so once you clean that part, because many people can think that you can remove these two plugs in here. Yeah, but it can, because you need like a, it, I believe they're just like rivets that you can just remove. Once you remove it, you cannot put them back, okay? But these are the two holes that you can see in here on the bottom. And once you install it back this part, make sure the gasket sits nicely in here because you can't see anything, but uh, many people, uh, that's the reason why it has this hole because the gasket uh, has, uh, has a hole in there. And um, that helps you to do the alignment when you're installing the gasket on this side. The hose is really easy, really basic. Put some grease, slide it in, that's it. But this design, right? Volvo used to have something like that, but in the latest models like from 2016 i believe they don't use this kind of design anymore because they noticed it was really hard to clean it if you want to clean it still it is possible to clean it but not as much as you wish so now we're gonna check it out the eg adventure pie for volvos you see this is the newer one let me put it here and this is the new design see the ER data pressure sensor and the good thing about this one is like you can clean it it can be reused you, even if it looks like this let me show you another one that I have in here this is another one and look how there is this thing okay let me get my flashlight so you can take a better look look 
Look how there is that thing from inside. You see? All that because the EGR cooler got messed up, of course. And as you can see, all that thing it probably right has clogged the ports on this side. Okay. And I'm gonna show you the this alright, this you see in here can be cleaned like this okay this one i clean it myself and you see and really nice and clean right and the same thing you just need to disassemble it so that's what we're gonna do right now first we're gonna remove the egr delta pressure sensor or egr dps Right. You need a 10 wrench or socket, right? It doesn't matter what drive, one quarter, three eight will do it. Okay. Now we take it off. Make sure the O-rings are on the sensor, not in here, not in here, because they are really easy to lose them. And once you install it back, make sure they are there, because if you don't install them with the sensor, it's gonna leak. A lot of exhaust in here all right once this is done you see we have three well, there is one two three torques they need to be removed these are torques 25 okay you can use 20 as long they're not that tight if they are too tight you're gonna mess up this part in here and you won't be able to remove it anymore and we have four Phillips screws in here. One, two, three, and four. So let's start removing. You see this one here. Mm -hmm. It's removing it. And then we have F1. Two. Okay. This is plastic. Well, I believe these are like a. No, there is no plastic on it. There's just alum aluminum. So, this is the third one. Okay, out. And we're gonna remove now the Phillips, okay? There's one in here. Two. Three. And four. Once we remove these four screws, okay, let's put it in here. Okay. Now we can open it. See? Once you open it, you see? Okay. Had two little pipes in there. See them, right? This part in here, in the back, it's not really necessary to remove it. But to check if the pie is flying around the back, you should. And the first thing you need to know is like, if you see like there's any crack or something uh, that you see that is any leak, they're not, that doesn't come from this, okay, from these holes. Because uh, I'm gonna explain you why these holes need O-rings, okay? Okay, it doesn't come from that side yeah you see you need to replace the whole thing if this had there is any crack in here all right or if this part is damaged from here of course you need to replace it the same was from the inlet side okay and when you install it back to the truck around the engine make sure this orange sits properly because as i told you guys before if you install it properly it might leak now 
back to explain about these holes in here. <sighs> okay, let me get my flashlight again. Okay, as you can see in there, there are two O-rings inside of each hole. Okay, two O-rings inside each hole. Okay, so we're gonna remove all of them. Okay, because this is gonna help us to install it easily. Okay, okay there is another one, one here. And sorry guys. Okay, there is another one. And there is another one in here. Okay. So you see now we have four O-rings in here. Okay. Now checking this part in here. Okay. See? Now you know if I remove them, there is only one O-ring. And one O-ring in here. Alright. And there is another two O-rings in here too. There is another you see them okay so we have to take them out too okay first one see and the second one if you have like to take out the o-ring special tool you can use it for me right now I don't have it up hand but I still was able to remove the o-ring guys see okay now you see how many o-rings on those small tubes there are eight o-rings in total which which means each tube has four o-rings okay See, you see, make sure these tubes are really nice and clean. Okay, they're not that hard to clean. Still, so I told you, use hot water to clean them. And if you have a uh, uh, blower gun, use it. Air blower gun, it's gonna help a lot. All right, and check it out this part. Make sure there is no uh, cracks around here or in this area. Obviously, if you see this from outside, just throw this part away because it's not good anymore. Check everything around. And I don't understand why Volvo uh, write this in here because not a step, because this part is impossible to step in this part, even if you want to, all right? But it's okay, Volvo. I guess someday we will step on it. Okay, now, now that you have checked everything, see we have three pieces, okay? Co two covers, these two covers in here, and the main vent to pipe. Now, we are gonna assemble back everything, okay? I suggest you to do it from this side, okay? You install, make sure it has the four O-rings on, and and if you want, you can use a little bit of grease. No big deal. You see, stick it in here. Nice and easy. Okay. Make sure they are facing somehow this way. So it's gonna be easier for you to install this part in here. All right. Now, we're gonna install this. This is part is really easy to install, see? Nice and easy. But this one might give you some troubles to install, okay? So try to align both holes together. And if you don't get it on the first try, okay? Don't give up, it will, it will align eventually. Okay, you see? Okay. Now we got it, guys. Okay. Now we're gonna install the Torx. Okay, we're gonna install the first one here on the back. This is the easier part because once you align those two 
the troops over there everything else goes nice and easy i will not put them all the way in because this is just to show you guys but you should do that all right don't forget it you need to do this all the way in guys sorry okay see mm -hmm. okay now that all of them are in place now you can tie all of them mm -hmm. you see and at the end we have the four Phillips bolts, the screws, sorry guys. Okay, one. I hate these Phillips bolts because they're, that part from the head, it's really hard, really easy to mess it up. So I just gonna leave it halfway guys. And the last one in here. It's really hard for me to film like this, guys. So sorry if you can see it sometimes properly. All right, and there we have it. Now, the last touch, the sensor. And don't worry, guys. This sensor will not fit the other way, even if you try. You see. That's the reason why they did this to the corner. So this part and this part would not fit. So just do, turn it around and it should fit. Put the two ten screws, two ten bolts in here. Stout them. Make sure the O-rings are in place too. And see, there you have. And there you have it. Make sure you tie all the bolts around, okay? Nothing is loose. You should double check, oh, all right. Once everything is tied and done, okay? You are ready to install the EGR Venturi Pi on place. And it's not that hard to clean it. I, for the sake of the video, I took this time to show you guys, but once you know what you're doing, it's faster. So that's all I have for you today, guys. Remember, you should clean this part. If the EGR cooler, uh, it, it got bad, you should clean it all the time, whatever the EGR cooler is bad. Or if you are just doing, you know, uh, prevent maintenance on your truck. So thanks for watching and I, really appreciate all the subscribers that i have right now we are around 3000 people thank you and i'll see you in my next video guys bye